Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's as always hard to believe but it is the end of the month which you guys know what that means. It's time for favorites videos. I'm personally very excited to be going into September because that sort of signals to me the end of summer and start of fall and fall is one of my favorite months. I'm definitely a fall winter person not as much a summer person. I'm really blessed because where I live in California it's not like an extreme climate change but everything just gets a little bit cooler and cozier and yeah I I just love it. I'm excited to sort of be going into those cooler months. So I have a few products that I want to share with you guys today. I want to start off with the makeup that I've been really enjoying and these are recent finds for me. You guys have just seen videos on them but they're by far two standout products for me this month and that is the Han Skincare Cosmetics 100% Natural Cheek and Lip Tint in Coral Hibiscus. I'm just totally in love with this color. It's such a bright, vibrant pop of color. I'm wearing it today. You can really either build it up and have something very, I think I just got some on my nose from sniffing it, but you can really build this up or you can wear it very naturally. I'm just in love with the price point of Han Cosmetics and I think you get a lot for that money. These are 100% natural products, which is wonderful. This pigment is incredible and I just love the smell and the formula is great to blend out. So if you're looking for a new cream blush, I would highly, highly recommend this color. I know that it's more of a spring summer color, but I promise you I'll be wearing this in the fall too. It's just a really nice natural flush of color, but a little something extra from your traditional blush. It's a little bit more vibrant. The next product is something very unique and something I've been wearing pretty much every day since I first started using it. And that is the Gressa Eye Tint in Bronze. Um, this is just a really interesting formula. It's like a powder cream formula. I've never really felt a texture like this before and I just love the color on my eyelids. I love how easy it is to use your fingers with it. In fact, I found it was easier to use your fingers than a brush. And yeah, I've just been popping this on pretty much every day and I just feel like it gives me a nice little something going on on my eyes. There is some sparkle to it, so when the light hits it, you do get slightly different tones, which is fun. It looks like you have something much more complicated going on than just put in a little cream shadow onto your eyelids. I also like to take a little bit underneath my eyelids, but I do find since it is a dark color that I need a little bit of concealer so that I don't draw too much attention to my dark under eyes, and that way it sort of balances it out, but you get that nice smoky look. This is like the perfect smoky eye in a jar. I also just think the packaging is absolutely gorgeous and I've been loving having this in my everyday makeup bag. I have a really lovely family and they all watch my videos and when I did the Gressa video all of them were like texting me like can I come over and try this eyeshadow out because they knew that this would be up their alley too. It's just a great universal color. I think it would be flattering on so many people and like I said in the video Gressa is just an incredibly unique brand. You're not going to find those formulas somewhere else so I would definitely recommend checking them out and in particular this eyeshadow color. Moving right along to skincare, I've been trying out like a couple of new brands. I've mentioned this before, but I really feel like I have a skincare routine that's working for my skin and I'm really happy with. I think I will do a skincare video coming up. This has been a new addition to my skincare regime. I went on a trip with my sister in the month of August, um, at the beginning of the month, and we stayed overnight at the spa resort and we actually got a treatment done on our faces. It was called like the Glowing Goddess Facial and this resort is known for sort of their holistic, natural treatment so everything was up that alley. In fact we used Kyphris products which I don't know if you've looked those up they're very pricey but they look wonderful and I really enjoyed using them and so I picked up a couple of the products that the esthetician recommended for me because I find that I do have very temperamental skin and one thing she recommended to me is adding an acid back into my routine. You guys saw on Tuesday when I did my empties video that I used to have that glycolic serum that I would use and I would go off and on using that. I really haven't used that for a few months and I really just got rid of it because because of the expiration date. And I have been missing an acid. It's sometimes hard to find brands that have a strong enough acid that fit the ingredients that I want to use. So when I found this brand and she recommended it, I was really excited. This is a brand called Lazern, and this is their Le Essentials. Oh man, I'm not going to try and butcher this, but this is their exfoliating pads. It's an acid exfoliating pad. I believe it's lactic acid in it. I of course can't find the box right now, so I can't double check that, but it is an acid pad. This is something that I use about three or four times a week, depending on how my skin is. If it's very dry or I feel like I've been overusing this and I don't use it as often. If I feel 
like I need a good clean out of my pores, then I will use this. And they just come in these little, very convenient cotton pads. And one thing that I really appreciate is that there's a protective little layer that you put back on top to try and keep as much air out as possible and to really make sure that these stay super, super fresh. I've had pads like this before. You know, when I was younger, I of course used like those Stridex and, and Neutrogena pads, which now I look back on and I get so angry at myself because really I was just over drying my skin. But anyway, <laughs> it's sort of that same idea except the quality of ingredients is amazing in here. It's 12 toxin free. You guys can look up their philosophy, see if these ingredients align with your personal philosophy. For me, this has been a really clean acid to add back into my routine and I've been loving the results. I feel like my texture is so much better. I feel like my skin is a lot brighter and I always wake up the next morning and if I have some sort of spot or something on my face the night before, there's a significant decrease in size and redness and soreness. So these are really making a huge difference for me and I'm gonna look more into their brand because I really like that they're a very clean clinical brand. So this isn't 100% natural, but the ingredients are really curated in a very thoughtful way. And I feel like everything that's in this is really effective and necessary and something that feels good to be putting on my skin. I also will say their price point is great. These were $48, which I don't know if that sounds like a lot to you guys, but for me, <laughs> A good acid that I feel confident about at only $48 is amazing. So I'm really happy with this purchase. I guess I could have done these skincare favorites in a better order, but the next product is actually what I use beforehand. Before beforehand, because I usually do a double cleanse. This is the first cleanse that I do, and this is the One Love Vitamin B Enzyme Cleansing Oil. As you can see, I've used a decent amount of it, but I've had it for a few months now, and I'm sort of impressed by how long this has lasted. I use this every single night to take off my makeup. I use it after videos to take off my makeup sometimes. And I just really am loving this oil cleanser. I know I talked about how I found a new oil cleanser in my last video, and this is the one that I mentioned. The smell is really nice. It's not as botanical as the Tata Harper one. This is more just like a fun scent. It almost smells like pina colada. It's not sickeningly sweet or anything. It just has that aroma to it. I love the way this feels on my my skin and the best part of it is there's no mess with it when you splash your face with water it immediately turns into a milk and you're able to rinse it off right away I do end up cleansing a second time after this just because I want to get deeper into my pores but this is a wonderful first cleanse much more affordable than the Tata Harper oil and I think it's easier to find too I found this at Pharmaca and yeah I've just been really impressed with it I was intrigued by the idea that this is also slightly exfoliating I'm not really sure if I've noticed that but it does take off all my makeup. It is something that I notice can be sensitive around my eye area, so sometimes I don't use this. If I have a lot of eye makeup on, then I'll use something else, but I think it's fine to use on your eye area, so I don't know if that's just my personal sensitivity. Otherwise, I think this is a great oil cleanser, and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this one in the future. My last skincare favorite is actually a tool, and it is the Gua Sha tool that I purchased online. I'm going to leave a link down below. I know that they sell these in so many different shapes now, but personally, I really like the shape. I feel like you get the perfect angles to do gua sha effectively. I'm gonna have a gua sha video coming up so I will be talking more about this but I just wanted to let you guys know since I know it's everywhere right now if you're looking for a good tool this is my personal favorite and I'll link where I found it down below. So all that being said those are my August favorites. I do want to do something a little bit different and that's set an intention for September. I always have all these ideas of what I want to incorporate into my life or when I reflect back on the previous month what I want to improve in the next month or just do more of and I felt like it'd be a good way to hold myself accountable by doing September intentions and then sort of checking in with you guys at the next favorites video and letting you know how that went. So I'm going to try and set three intentions for the next month. Three for me feels like a very manageable number, something that I can try and incorporate in my everyday routine. And depending on the month, it might be bigger things, it might be smaller things, but for September, I really wanna try and get back into meditation, something that I found really helped with anxiety, really helped just calm my nervous system down, calm me down and feel a little bit more present. So that's one goal. The second goal is to try and wake up earlier. I get in this habit because I work from home of just staying in bed and I'm definitely not a morning person so I really want to try and when I wake up in the morning don't hit snooze on my alarm clock get up the first time start getting moving and hopefully meditation will play into that because I'll need to wake up earlier in order to do that before I start working
for. And then the third intention that I wanna do is to add yoga back into my fitness routine. You guys know I do a lot of Pilates and I love it, but I've been having issues with my feet because I think I'm doing too much of it or I strained it and it's so frustrating. So I've been having to take a break and it's made me realize I need to diversify my routine a little bit and make sure that I'm doing Pilates, but then also more quiet exercises that are for my mind and stretching and all of that. So I wanna try and find a yoga studio this month and start going to a couple of classes. All right guys, those are my intentions for September. I would love to know if you have any intentions below. So I will check in with you guys next month, but thank you as always for watching. I really enjoy doing these videos and it's fun to look back on the month before. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for weekly videos always featuring clean green beauty. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye!